he said in his third date with Deco Bar. Side out. And in the net goes Matt Wright. So we will take a look at the 34-year-old sensation, Tyson zero, zero, McGuffin. Been around the sport since 2016. Has stayed at the top for almost 10 years. Second serve. It's the hand speed of Ignatowicz. Yeah, anything high to his forehand, like we talked about earlier with Daniel De La Rosa. Zero, zero, zero. As we get a good, yeah, get a good look at that. Old. Based out of Austin at the moment, former pro tennis player. Clean rip down the middle. Very rarely do you see a ball get through, through those two. One, zero, two. Point. Tyson said no more Ferrari forehand with this guy. Well, I don't know. I think he's putting up a campaign here in the opening point so far. Two, zero, two, two. dipping drives in his last two points. Out. Update over on Grandstand. Thomas Wilson and Riley Newman in a third game right now with Eric Lang and Zayden Navratil. 7-4 lead for Wilson and Newman in the third. Yeah, you're going to see that a lot. Anything that is slightly dead on the cross court ding, Tyson left that one a little two, bit two, soft. Two. Matt's going to step into that one and look to speed it up. A huge serve. Side out. Yeah, tri good. Trickery from Deckel Bar. We're going to continue to see big serve after big serve, specifically from Deckel and James, but not far behind is this one right here, Tyson McGuffin. McGuffin knows he hit an out ball. Hand speed for days at the kitchen, though. And speaking of the serve, James told us yesterday, really didn't impact his technique too much. 2-0-2. Two, two. Two. Oh, 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 he misses the drop shot. Pushes Matt right off the kitchen line with the lob. Misses the drop shot into the kitchen. Great point on both sides. Zero, two, one. Second yeah, to your point early, Michelle. James's serve prior to the rule change, as we're going to see here in a moment, it kind of looked the same. He already kept it. A bit below his hip. It's not much of a release change. Yeah. Right out. Bar beats Ignatowicz to the middle. Two zero one. Second serve. Overcooked it. Two zero two. Oh, Ignatovich and Wright handling an onslaught of offense. Zero, two, one. I was just slow enough to get Tyson stumbling slightly, putting that one in the bottom of the net. One, two, one. Come on, hands battle. <laughs> Unbelievable, both sides. No shortage of speed ups here. Right in Ignatowicz, tie it back up at two. Two, two, one. Wow. 
Second serve. A different pace, Michelle, to this one for Tyson and Deckel than their previous match, where they played a lot more yeah. at the kitchen, some longer points. Right now, shorter points, quicker speed ups. Side out. Matt wants that one back. He slid right for the counter, but it looks like he tried to pull his paddle back at the last moment, anticipating that one going out. Point. It's a nice rip from McGuffin it from the baseline. And what makes it so good is how he's able to dip it over the net. And if you can dip it over the net, you get your opponent to hit up. You know. Second serve. <laughs> The pace off the paddle of Ignatowicz is unbelievable. His arm is different than our arms. Yeah. Three, two, two. It's the paddle, but something else. Side out. Two, three, one. <laughs> Got the initial tweener, but the put away was too much. Three, three, one. Go! Second serve. Big put away for Deckelbar. Over on Grandstand. Three, this three, just three. in, a monstrous upset. Eric Lang and Zane Navratil just took down Thomas Wilson and Riley Newman in three. Wow. Point. Michelle, I think we've seen three more straight up baseline winners today in doubles than I've ever seen in a day of pickleball. Mm -hmm. Started with Augie Gunn, Four, three, two. a couple of those. Oh, Point. let cord in favor of Ignatowicz. Unfortunate bounce for McGuffin. I think he's been practicing those. Five, three, two. Side out. Three, five, one. Sir. Another net cord going the way of James Ignatowicz. Three, five, two. Side out. A great spot there by Matt Wright. Loading up and hitting it right at Deckelbar's right hip. Jams him with the forehand. Five, three, one. Second serve. That's two missed serves in a row for Ignatowicz, which is going to happen from time to time with how big he goes on a serve. Point. Yeah, right was there for the pop-up chance and the biggest lead of the match so far over to Wright and Ignatowicz. 6-3-2. Oh, what hands from Matt Wright, the lawyer. The official ball of the PPA Tour.
just joining us. Well, Eric Lang and Zane Navratil are into the finals Point. over Riley Newman and Thomas Wilson. Winner of this one will get the 12 seed, Lang and Navratil. That's a much better looking hey, draw, Ranger. in their opinion, I'm sure, over Wilson and Newman. Side out. No disrespect, it's just the strength of Newman and Wilson. Three, eight, one. Second serve. 3-8-2. Side out. Okay, good spot there by Matt Wright. Put it right in the center. Made Deckel and Tyson make a choice who is going to take that middle ball. And in that situation, paddles hit, ball goes into the net. 8-3-1. Push out fault, right foot. Mm, push Point. out fault called on Tyson McGuffin. Had a couple of those yesterday, too. It's one of the first lobs of the day, Michelle. Great right side cross court lob Nine, three, to Tyson's backhand side. Point. Game point. This one getting out of hand for Barr and McGuffin in a hurry. Right at Ignatowicz, stealing game point on a one. 10 3 1. Second serve. Game point. 10 3 2. Oh Ooh, Ignatowicz was there for the counter just long. And a game point saved. By Barr McGuffin, too much one. game point saves. No. No. Point. Huge serve there by Deckel Barr, creating a really short return. He was able to go in and hit a third shot drive. Four, ten, Good one. mistake from Matt Wright. Point. Another big serve from Barr. One-upping James Ignatowicz in the serving category. Matt Wright asking to see the ball. And if both sides agree, both teams, they can change it out at any time. Oh, Second serve. Missed chance for McGuffin. Good ball from Matt Wright. He's so tough to play against because when he sets up for that forehand, he can hit it line, he can hit it at your body, he can hit it at your right hip, he can go middle, he can go cross court. So you don't quite know where he's going. Game point number three for Wright and Ignatowicz. Point Just game. back Let's for Barr. Wright and Ignatowicz take the first 11-5 in the three seed. They are one step closer to the semifinal in a matchup with the 12 seed, Napritz Hill and Lang await the winner of this one.
played together. And this is a tough matchup in the quarters to run into Matt Wright and James Ignatowicz at this point. Game two, time in, zero, zero, two. Characteristic errors on Deckelbar's part in the first two points. One zero one. Oh. Ooh. Second serve. Big man right there. Not a lot of lobs can get past him. Well, especially Mac got caught stretched out a little bit and which meant the ball was lower. He was hitting it from a lower position. Deckelbar had a little more time to react. And he's also extremely tall. <laughs> Genetically blessed, as we say. One, zero, two. First volley there by Matt Wright. Instead of taking it back to Deckel Bar, who was back, he went at the feet of Tyson McGuffin, who was up ready to defend. Oh, what a counter from Matt Wright! <laughs> Barr and McGuffin thought they had it. Just scooted low <laughs> on the backhand touch. Oh no, the gimme into the net for Matt Wright. Deckelbar knew it, sliding off. He got away with one. From James Ignatowicz, Deckel Bar sped it up to that left hip. And right when Deckel loaded up, James looks like he was about two feet off the kitchen line, just giving himself a little bit more time to counter that ball. ATP oh. and a beauty for Deckel Bar on the back hip. James just takes his top spin roll a little bit too wide. Great balance by Deckelbar, able to pull it back. Point. Yeah, big drive. Both Deckel and Tyson right now are sending drives. turning it up down the line on Matt Wright. I mentioned it earlier, Michelle, all four of these guys know each other's games well. So they're playing chess out there and when they're deciding two, when, two, when do I speed up, where do I speed up? And the same thing goes for the counters.
Good night serve. from James Ignatowicz all over the read on the lob. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna lob James, who has one of the best overheads in all of pickleball, two, two, two. you better get a good spot. Big serve. Point. Big drive. <laughs> Twice now, Declabar is going heavy to the line on Matt Wright. Well, what these big serves continue to do is they generate short returns. And so it makes it tough for the returning team to handle the big drive if they're hitting it from the midcourt. A better return there. How about that from Jekyll Bar? Big man can get low too. Four, two, two. Let's sit down right here. Point. A slew of misses for Wright and Ignatowicz. Bring Barr and McGuffin to a three-point lead. Well, clearly the drive strategy is starting to pick up. It is. And that for was a, Barr and McGuffin. It was a great block first volley by James, able to sur Two, survive five, the huge drive and get them the point. Now we just got away with that one. To your point earlier about a lot of these off balls <laughs> being played, but they're coming a million miles a minute. How else do you get out of the Three, way? Five, Well, the truth is, Michelle, the only way you get out of the way in that situation is if you make the choice before the ball is hit. Otherwise, you won't get out of the way. Great coverage there by Tyson McGuffin, covering the middle. Four able to get his two. backhand on it. Uh-oh, that one too high. Deckelbar cleans it up. Still a three-point run, though, for Wright and Ignatowicz as they surrender the serve back to Barr and McGuffin. Got it. The fact that McGovern even got a paddle on it. Four, five, one. Point. Well, awkward court positioning there as Tyson sped it up. He got caught behind Bar in a unique position, five, five, wasn't able to finish it off. The opening, what a play. And as that dink's going cross court, James is looking for his opportunity to strike. You see him just standing there, he's chopping his feet. He leans in. One time out. Two time out. In this quarterfinal. 
Matt Wright to serve. Time in. Six, five, one. Second serve. Six, five, two. Point. Again, the big serve is setting up a big drive, which was keeping Barr and McGuffin Seven back five, away two. from the kitchen line. Yeah, better job handling it there as they unwind the stack and get back to their preferred sides. They did a much better job in that point of handling the first volley. Second serve. As we see a missed serve there from Deckel Barr. Five, seven, two. Side out. Good pressure there by Natowich. Seven, five, one. Five, two. Side out. Five, seven, one. Two points away from tying it. Oh no. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, hello. Second serve. Collision course. <laughs> All ahead of the break. Five, Seems seven, to two. be okay. To the medical timeout. McGuffin will continue the serve on a two. Ooh, Matt Wright wanted to get out of the way of it. Couldn't pull his paddle out fast enough. Six, seven, two. Oh no, missed return to follow. Response from Ignatowicz following up on the missed return. Serve back on the side of right and Ignatowicz looking to close it out in two. Seven, seven, one. Chance for Ignatowicz. Yeah, and he, he, he re recognizes they're trying to dink middle at Matt Wright's left seven, foot. Seven, and so he's continually trying to reach in, James is, and get that forehand. Good night. And serve back on the side of Bard McGuffin. Big hold. No points for Wright and Ignatowicz. 7-7-1. Seven, seven, McGuffin and Barr on top by one. Eight, seven, one. Second serve. Oh no, miss serve for Barr. High risk, high reward. Both sides for Natowich and Barr. McGuffin with another try. Eight, seven, two. Wow. wow, through the legs of Jekyll Barr goes James Ignatowicz. Barr started it, but James finished it. 7-8-1. Cleaned up once again by James Ignatowicz to the corner. Tie game. 
A great spot there by Matt Wright, too, going towards Tyson McGuffin's right hip in order to create the pop-up for James's put away. for Deckel Barr. A great read by Barr. James has gone to that same spot Adrian. multiple times in this match. Barr was there, anticipated well. Recall. Eight, eight, two. Yeah. Clean up again, Deckel Barr holding strong at the kitchen. Only one point surrendered. I borrow McGuffin as they take back the serve. Eight, eight, one. Such quick lateral Second movement turn. for James Ignatowicz. A patient point on both sides until it got started and the ball got popped up for James to put it away. Oh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> you, you could hear it in his voice. He knew he overextended. Before he even hit it. <laughs> <laughs> James is looking. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh. Deckel Barr crouches, takes game, game point. point in game two. Twice now. We've seen that play. 10-8-2. McGuffin and Barr still alive. They force a third game. This one's not over yet. The quarterfinals just got a little bit more exciting. We'll be right back. Dude's tall, Kyle. He's tall. That's a, that's a similar pattern we've seen in game two. Matt Wright and Tyson Dick cross court. James looking to get aggressive. They changed the pattern near the end of that point. It didn't work out well for Barr. worked out well for Ignatowicz. Point. Boy, and Matt is not someone that goes for a serve at all, and to miss that is a killer here two, in zero, game two. three. Point. Yikes, couple tough errors for Deckel Barr. He's got to get that cleaned up immediately. McGuffin, a great supportive partner there, goes right over to Three, him. Zero, two. got what he wanted you can see it right now hands on his hips when you've been dicking so long you're like oh my gosh that is the candy I was looking for and four nothing would have felt 
Very, very heavy, still serving with a couple of mistakes. So they get a mistake of their own, do McGuffin and Barr. Everybody was in an awkward position yeah. there. <laughs> that just got chaotic in a hurry. <laughs> Zero, three, two. at each other like you're going to get the lob no you are trouble yeah and add on to that they were playing on the opposite side they've been playing on for most of the game to One, see three, Ignatowicz three. run back and try to use that same technique from the sports center play to get that ball back over That's part of the reason they've stayed in the cross-court pattern away from James's backhand. As we get a good look at the kitchen cam. Three, one, one. Get down on the scorpion, but it's on the wrong side of your body there. Great shot. Guffin splits the middle. He's gone lob and now just a beautiful controlled swing there, Kyle. Three, one, two. Yeah, huge swing there from McGuffin on the move. Deckel bar with the put away. That reminded me of a flip of a, the, the patented Connor Garnett two-handed runner yeah. going the other way. He loved that off the paddle. He was sprinting forward, just clips the top of the tape. Oh, and they're going to, so two. they were half stacking earlier in this match. And Matt Wright is going to go for a run here. Side out. And Deckel chose to go back at James there. Interesting. Third net court beneficiary of James right there for the match. Yeah, yeah. 3-1-1. One, one. hands from Matt Wright. Swatting flies uh, yep. over there was Deckel Bar. Gets himself slightly out of position, but gets back into it. Yeah. And we're going to take this ball out of play. That's the other one. No one wants to see it. Go ahead. Here we go. Matt wanted to see it. Four, one, one. Point. I think which serve has been a factor big time in mix yesterday to get them to the final. And five, one, one. here it is again. Big chance here to get to six and switch with a five point lead. Just blunt force trauma from Matt Wright and James Ignatowicz, and they will switch with that five-point lead when they're hitting down and you are hit. So six, here we one, go. 6-1. One. Berth in the semifinals is at stake. Wow. Oh, Jimmy couldn't get there. Six, 
point started off with a little bit of a high drop there from Ignatovich. Kept him back at the baseline. Good pressure from Barb McGuffin. 161. Wow. Beautiful from Matt Wright. Went to the backhand twice on Deckel, who made a couple of nice stabs. Yeah, we see it again right here. Goes back down the line into his backhand, changes the spot up the middle. Gap was created. Coming in hot, a little too hot there for Big D. 6 1 1. Dude loves the earning. It doesn't hurt to be tall. No, it does not. But it's a good read there. Six, one, He'll two. notice ball gets popped. He can jump, get closer to the net, put the ball down. Well read by Deckel. Oh. That was wild, like a full swing <laughs> cut with nothing on it. James well, like, that ball just won't. It's, it's not supposed not to do that. To me in any time at all. Wow. Come on. That was unbelievable chaos. Started with a blistering drive from Deckelbar. You thought the point was going to be over four or five times. So we get a good look at this reset right here from Deckel Bar. Just sails deep One, on six, him. Two. Second try here to start cutting into the lead. <sighs> wow, massive swing there, and he was in great position after the backhand volley. There's a little look from Matt and Deckel at each other. I think they both knew. Six, one, one. Matt likes to remind you, too, if you <laughs> missed a sitter like that. Oh, Point. stand 11 9 in the third. Yeah. Second third. Man, Tyson committed to covering the line, got what he wanted. 7 1 2. You don't see Jimmy drop it when he gets a short return too often mm -hmm. and didn't quite execute it. One, seven, one. So the timeout proves very helpful. Oh, wow, great spot. Unwinding the stack. James is running at a diagonal to the left, recognized by Deckelbar, takes it to his backhand, gets him outstretched, twins the point. Yeah, and didn't overhit it. No. Perfect. So this is what they've been doing, half stack or quarter stack, where they're not switching when Matt is returning. Now they will get Ignatowicz to the left. Dave, you don't often see a outstretched backhand come back across his body for a counter. You're going to see no. Deckel. Insane because James is sitting forehand going, that's where this is coming and got pegged. Wow. Well, that was awkward, but it gets in the kitchen. Yeah. That was just a mess from the get-go. Yeah, I mean, the patent did Matt right. Right hip, speed up to get the pop up. Four, seven, two. Whoopsie. Hello. No, I'll take it. <laughs> Still a pretty good drop, too. I know. Yeah, great spot there by McGuffin. 
Ignatowicz is sliding left, covering line. McGuffin goes at his right hip. Same shot that Matt Wright just hit in the previous point. So this is four in a row after that timeout. And, you know, just hanging out on a Saturday, down on one knee almost. Oh, Deckel. Man. McGuffin gave him exactly what they wanted. He did the shake, but the bake stayed in the oven too long. There's so. been a couple balls there. A slight over swing in, in sending it wide or sending it long. Just misses as the Gnatowicz two-handed backhand roll gets way too deep into the kitchen. Well, he went for the aggressive backhand back cross court, and he was already slightly off balance. I would like to see a ball back to the middle there just to recover his balance. Okay. A little tricky for Big D there. Flicked it at Matt, was ready for the first one, but uh, Deckel up in the ante here late in game three. Oh, and Ignatowicz gets tagged for a second time cross court from Deckel Bar. Timeout receivers, six, seven, one. Looks like he is going to actually switch, so uh, good return is critical. Point. Couldn't make a good volley on the run. And uh, speaking of Anna Lee Waters, we'll have her and Catherine Parento against the Kalamotos, who got revenge in the sister act battle. They beat the Brashes. Second serve. Hammered. You think that one's going out? I don't know. There's so much dip, maybe. I think it might be wide, actually. He hit that one so hard yeah. in the body. <laughs> yeah, these two really have a good vibe there. I mean, confident. They've been, you know, even down six, seven, they seven, were two. not panicking. Wow. And a missed dink in the net, and Barr and McGuffin have come all the way back to Eight, take seven, the lead. Seven in a row. Football, right foot. Oh, no. We had a foot fault and the ball missed. You don't lose two points for that, but uh, that was such an awkward hit from. Deckel on the next one as if that one wasn't awkward. 972. Man alive. This is a chance to get to 10. Wow. And they do with ease. And unwinding the stack is a disaster. Nine in a row. Can they rattle off 10 in a row and That's get point. to the semifinals? Here we go. McGuffin to serve. 1072. Wow. They sure can. What a rally from the five seed. Deckel Barr and Tyson McGuffin come out of nowhere, and they will play in the semifinals. We will ask them how they did it on the other side of this break. The three seed sent home. Hey, guys. Uh, today I just wanted to tell you about one of my new favorite accessories. It's this chair right here. Uh, it's made by a brand called Click, and this thing is amazing. Um, it's super small, folds down about the size of a water bottle. Uh, it's very easy to set up. It takes me about five seconds to put this thing into place. And it makes a lot of sense for when I'm out in a place like this. They don't even have benches out here. So, pop my chair down and I'm sitting pretty. Dave Fleming, Kyle Kazuda here. I'll start with you, Big D. Big you're down. Deckel, you're down 7-1 in the third, and you just won 10 points in a row. What in the world changed, and how were you able to make that happen? 
Yeah, I got a little bit frustrated after a couple of misses. Uh, Tyson picked me up after the timeout uh, with good energy. We, you know, we played a few aggressive points. Shake and bake was working well, but when we were in the kitchen, you know, doing our patterns and just sticking to the plan, and uh, yeah, glad we pulled it off. Yeah, Tyson. Speaking of picking each other up. We noticed you guys were having a lot of discussion near the end of game, uh, that last that final game. What were you guys saying to each other? Was it more strategy? Was it just encouragement? Was it just execute the game plan? What was it? Yeah, I think it was tighten things up. Uh, you know, I was uh, pretty predictable with my dinking cross court, so I kind of needed to open up the court a little bit, dink back behind Papa Jim. Uh, even though I knew he was going to kind of come at me. So it was just kind of move stuff around, open up the court. He was sitting middle a lot, so open him up, um, which, uh, yeah, kind of gave us some different looks. It's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. When I have the big man next to me here, uh, you know, I've been playing against this guy for the last eight years, and now we're on the same side. So uh, life is good out here. So, uh, big man, you've got uh, Eric Lang, another big dude, and uh, Zane Navratil coming up. Uh, what is it going to take from you two to win that match? Yeah, obviously two good players. We've got to keep our level up, uh, bring the energy. Yeah, we'll discuss what we've got to do and uh, hopefully execute well. Uh, Tyson, as you as you uh, think back in where it all started for you, can you just give some advice to uh, some amateurs out there who are watching you guys right now compete at the highest level? What are you telling players who are out there on the, on the grounds right now? Say, how do I get to that place that you guys are at? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, simplify, uh, find your best self, kind of understand your identity, build around that, uh, know your strengths, know your weaknesses, uh, understanding your, your uh, panic button under pressure. I think uh, you kind of have to be honest and, like, aware with yourself under pressure. Playing with pressure compared to practice is totally, uh, you know, uh, very different. There's, there's good practice players and, and there's good pressure players. So uh, I think uh, as you're practicing as well, doing some pressure scenarios, that way you can kind of get comfortable with pressure because uh, come game time, if you're on championship court, you can perform like uh, triple deck and I <laughs> last one for you triple deck I'll use that I'm running with that uh, oh, yeah. you obviously had had a huge tennis background and we have a lot of tennis players watching what would you tell to those folks that are saying hey I want to I want to come on over to pickle what would you tell the tennis players that they should start working on as they pick up a pickleball paddle for the first time Hey, obviously, yeah, come on over. But, uh, yeah, I would say just kind of work on the slow game first. Uh, make your way to the kitchen. Obviously, all the tennis players like to like to hit hard at first. So, yeah, slow it down. It's a little bit of a transition. Just accept it's a different sport and uh, work on the, you know, work on stuff you got to do. Well, boys, a riveting comeback there. Congratulations. Good luck in the semifinals, and thanks for taking some time.